hi y'all so really quick good morning just wanted to log on really quick transparent moment um and i thought it would be a good thing to share um one of the things that i am very passionate about is my children um they are my first church i say that all the time if you follow me you know that um but i love my children and i feel like sometimes um you know a parent we have to be wise of the enemy's de devices. You know, he will use anything. And I think about so often he's going to use what's closest to us. Our husband, um, if you're married, your children. Um, just be mindful of that. And I just wanted to log on because I was having a moment and I just wanted to share this with you because I pray daily for my children and, and I, I can't stress that enough. That's a whole nother topic that I would, I'm going to do a, a segment on prayer, prayer, um, praying and fasting for your children. But I wanted to just thank God for several reasons because I was just telling, I tell God all the time, I'm desperate for him. And you've heard me say that big faith, um, big faith is not about me. It's about him It's recognizing that there is nothing great about me. It's great about who he is. And so my strength is in his strength. And when it comes to my children, I let the Lord know every day I relinquish them to him. I tell them every day with open hands, mouths, Livia, Langston, they belong to you. They don't belong to me. And and they do. I birth them, but you care about them more than I ever can. And I need your guidance. I need your wisdom and how to mother. I don't take for granted that, oh, I birthed them. Oh, they came out of my womb. Yeah, I know them, but our children are a gift from God. And so when you think of a gift, you don't just rip it open. If someone give you present when you were young, you did that, but you never know what's in there. And so you don't want to rip something open and you ripped it. And our children have so many layers. And so there's a delicacy. There's a wisdom that it takes to rear them. And so I would encourage you as parents to yield to God to every morning. Ask God for new grace, new mercies. We're not perfect. There's things that we're going to do wrong. But God, give me, even give me, if you have more than one child, how to learn from this one because they can't be compared. They're different. Um, their learning style is different. Everything about them sometimes is different. And so God, what does that look like? And so I let the Lord know, listen, you made them. You knew them before you put them in their womb. So I need you daily to show me um, how to talk to them, how to discipline them, how to love on them. And so one of the things that I wanted to share with you all with that was, I was thinking about how important it is just what we speak over them, the things that we say to them. Um, and so I have one of my children that they're kind of starting off, a, not starting off rocky, but their learning style is totally different. And I was getting so frustrated because I, I just, I want to help them so bad. And y'all, I had to even see it um, spiritually. And I wanted to bring that out because they're, you, we have to stay in the spirit. I thought this was such even just a good thing and motivation on Monday of why I say the word and changing the atmosphere through praise because in everything, the enemy will use something. And I could feel myself getting frustrated because I'm just like, I don't know how to help you. Like I'm saying this, I'm saying that. Why aren't you getting it? You know, and I had to take a step back and I went and I just began to pray and I began to thank God. And I said, you know, you are the source of all knowledge. And I, I, I even tell God when I go to work, I'm like, it's not by my strength. This title means nothing to me. You show me how to be your manager. I don't want to be the world's manager. I don't want to manage the way they say based on the book, but you give me a wisdom. You give me how to care about people, but yet, you know, to enforce the rules and things that needs to happen. And I began to seek God and God was just giving me how to give him to give him to him. And y'all, I just wanted to log on for that simple transparency to say in all your ways, acknowledge him, even in their schooling. And so I could even see the frustration in his eyes and I'm like, Lord, help me. And it's so, such a blessing. 
number one to have a best friend who's a teacher i'm gonna just be honest and so i heard the lord say call your best friend and i facetimed her and so wendy i mean instantly went into her mode she already knew her bfl she already knew i was like on the edge so she just started doing things and talking and i saw his whole face light up and i'm like so after she kind of worked him through his worksheet and helped me when we got off the phone, she just brought some things to my light that his learning style is so different. And I had never heard of it. But the one thing that she gave me, it worked. And we started kind of playing a matching game. And so I say all that to say, I wouldn't have known that. But if we just acknowledge him, everything as our source, he'll give us all our resources. I know my best friend, a teacher, but I think in the moment, my mind, the enemy wanted me so confused and so frustrated that I would take it out. But I had to just step back and acknowledge my source who then gave me such a wonderful resource. And then I wanted to encourage you to speak life over them. You know, I let all my children know, even Olivia now, I start speaking over her. You're smart. There's nothing that you can't do. I put the word in them. This morning, our topic was just that, reminding them that our source of all knowledge and information is God. Like he made the book and he made the teacher who teach in the book. So if you're having a difficult situation, you don't need to be worried. Go to the source who made the teacher, who made the book, who made the college, who made, he made everything. He's our source. And so there's nothing. You go to the source. God, math, trig, reading is, is a becoming, I need help. You know, and I was just telling them, I said, mommy knows things. Daddy knows things. But our resource, our knowledge base taps out, you know, but his never does because I want to tie to them that God cares about everything that matters to them. So I just wanted to show you this real quick before I go in. I made a, our confession document. I don't know if you can see it, but this is something that they say every day. I want them to understand. Um, so they say, I am, I'm just read a couple things off of it. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath i have favor and good understanding i am all i understand all that i am taught the source and beginning of all knowledge is in god um they already know i can do all things through christ who gives me strength i remind them that they are smart they are called they are a leader and they walk in the favor of god and then i let them know I am a gift. They say, I am a gift from God to my parents, friends, teachers, and the world. Um, God's word will never return void. I am who God says I am. Chosen, blessed, called, and holy. These are just some of the things. But I just encourage you to speak because it's going to click. You know, and I even looked up... Um, we have, this is something I say for myself. It's my daily declaration that's out of Ephesians 1 and 2. But I want to just, again, begin to tell you to say what God says. And so I just want to log on there because I'm constantly, I want you all to see transparency, but I also want you to see the word works, y'all. Like you have to make this thing applicable to life. It's not just what's in the Bible. It's not just, this is what I read in Romans 8 and 20, but how does Romans 8, 28 become life? You know that you know that in everything, God is working it together for my good. Y'all, when I walk my babies in, I'm gonna be honest, my stomach was hurting because I want them to do, today is his test, but I began to, as I was walking back to my car, I began to recall the word. And I said, God, in Lamentations, you said to lift up my hands for my children. I relinquish him to you. There's no reason for me to be anxious because great is my God. He had, you care about him more than I do. You know his name. And so I thank you that you're giving him understanding and power to take tests. And I bind up anxiousness. Like the word has to begin to become life. So I just wanted to, call, to just encourage you as a parent, speak over your children encourage them allow the word to connect to them don't just take them to church love jesus serve god be saved but what does all that mean we have to connect these dots for them and allow the word of god to be life and so i began to remind him baby you have a god who made the universe he made these words he made hypotheses he made and so he's gonna give you the understanding so i just wanted to share that with you for whatever is worth 
know who out there, but be wise. Know that the enemy will use anything. And I don't know about you, but he ain't going to use my children because they're not my enemy. I love my babies and I will go to war for my babies. And so I, I had to just step back and say, hold on. And when I went to my source, he gave me such a wonderful resource. So just a little thing. Have a blessed day. Be encouraged.